I was brought up in England, and, and it was a great environment because our house was at the very edge of London. So if you look back, it was all houses to the center of London, and you looked out the front, and it was Epping Forest, which was a free, open area. But I think it was just a freedom to explore and do things on our own. It was a good environment for somebody growing up and uh, discovering things for themselves. There was lots of shipping up and down the narrow channel, and the first telescope I made, I bought a lens and put it together in a tube and used it to read the names of the ships going by. We can find in nature often engineering solutions that may be able to solve the, the problems that we're, that we're working with. So it's both the fundamentals of how the universe works, but also in engineering how to build stuff. Nature has evolved honeycomb structures to make stiff, lightweight things. And that's very useful in a telescope mirror. But uh, the thing that was the surprise when we first started using space mirrors on the ground was that the images were good. And so nobody had anticipated that the lightweight structure would actually make better images. And so we realized that if we were going to make bigger telescopes, that the best way to make them would be as a big honeycomb structure. The people who are going to make the scientific discoveries, right, are the next generation and the generation beyond that. There's many decades of use from these instruments. So there is an invention that we have made for solar energy. In the unit, the light coming to a focus, first of all, goes into a, a spherical ball of pure fused quartz, and that spreads out the light uniformly behind the ball, so they all get a controlled, precise amount of light. So I think it's easy to be pessimistic about what the future is with climate change, but I think on the other side, it's pretty clear that by intensively working on things like solar and wind, that we are likely to find solutions which will make renewable energy economically completely viable and the preferred source. But there's a great opportunity here, if you like, for young people to get in and find these new innovative solutions, and we certainly desperately need them.